to my channel. It's simply just here today with Friday Dollar Tree Haul. Happy Friday. We are here. The end of another week. Um, I just forgot that I wanted to <laughs> address something on Wednesday's video and it made me think about it. So I just wanted to address it. I am not sure if there is any more confusion about the phrase hump day. Okay, I say it on my Wednesday videos most of the time. Apparently, I have offended some people. Um, I, I mean, I'm not going to, and I know this may sound rude, I am not going to apologize for that. Um, it is not offensive. It is not meant in any derogatory way. I feel like I have already explained that. Um, if anybody remembers, there was an insurance commercial back in the day. It had a camel in it. The other person's name in the commercial was Mike. The camel used to always say, Mike, 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 you know what day it is? Hump day, because he's a camel and he had humps. Wednesday is the highest hump of the work week. So we start here on Monday, we get here on Tuesday, we're up here on Wednesday, and then it just means you make it over the hump, and then it's a downward slope to Thursday and to Friday, and then the wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, I really don't know what else to say about that. If, if your mind takes you somewhere else with that phrase, then I do apologize that that is the way you think of it because that is not what it means. So with that being said, we do not have to go any further into that. I am just reiterating what the phrase hump day means. It does not mean anything derogatory or nasty or inappropriate as the comment was made. Um, I even had somebody go to my mother I am almost 44 years old, and I had somebody go to my mother to have her correct me by being for being inappropriate. Um, leave her alone. Uh, <laughs> that's all I can say. She has definitely got a ton of other things in life going on that she does not need to worry about correcting her 44-year-old daughter um, over something that is taken the wrong way. So with that being said, I am just going to move right on past that to let you know that, yeah, this is what we look like today, okay? I am off of work, which is phenomenal. The hair is falling all over the place. It is warm, and I had a great day at the beach yesterday, so anybody who did pray for me to have a good time, it worked. I did. Um, <laughs> little sore still to this uh, today, but... I'm sure as the days go on and the medication continues that it will get better and clear up and I don't have to worry about it. But that is enough of me just talking your ear off. I know you want to see what I got and I can't wait to show you because I got some really interesting stuff that I haven't seen before. And maybe you have, but I haven't. And I'm very excited to share this with you. Microwave steam bags, okay? Prepares, whoops, meals in minutes. Great for fresh or frozen foods single use only. You get six of them. They are medium size. They are 7.24 by 7.99. They do have a zipper seal right here. As you can see, there is about five different directions here. On the back, it seems to be very, very simple to use, but you place the food. I'm so sorry. Place the food and seasoning in the steam bag. You close and seal the bag firmly, place the bag in the microwave with the indicated side up, so it is gonna tell you, and set the watts minutes required. The bag will inflate during cooking in the microwave. Heated air can safely escape through the valve. Wait at least 30 seconds after cooking to handle the bag. To open, hold the top of the bag, be careful as the steam may escape. Oh, now, with all of that being said, how fun. I mean, I don't know if it's really fun, but it does seem fun. You could do steam vegetables. Like, look at that. How exciting is this? I'm not exactly sure what else you can use them for. 
I read right to vegetables, even though not, I am not a huge vegetable eater. <laughs> you can tell. Um, <laughs> but my kids are. So I think they would have, you know, more fun using these than I will. I'm not exactly sure because it just says meals in minutes. So I'm not sure. We'll have to like maybe Google and see what else you could possibly use these for. But you do get six in every in each bag here. So that'll be interesting, right? And then the other thing I saw is reusable stretch silicone seals. This is what they look like. So alternate to not having a lid. Um, sometimes odd shaped bowls and stuff don't come with lids, plates here. So these are, we're going to open them up because I'm very curious here, reusable and they're stretch silicone. I just want to take one out here and see what we got. So they come out like this. So you would peel that off of the contain of uh, the paper here and you would use this here. It does stretch. I wish I had a bowl or something up here. Um, stretch this over top of your plate or whatever, push it down and it's supposed to seal. And then you can take them off, put them back on here if you want to. But it looks like you get three different sizes. So you get this really cool greenish blue, blue and white. So you have a small, medium and large. Here is the small one right here at the bottom. It is six by six. The blue one here is 8.5 by 8.5. And then the large white one here is 11 by 11. So as you can see, <coughs> excuse me, in the picture, it looks like you just kind of push it down, make it seal. You see the extra here hangs over, but it does look like it is really secure on there. So, <coughs> my goodness, I thought I had a drink too. Um, that's going to be fun to try. Because then, yeah, I won't get so mad if I can't find a lid. Because <laughs> that does happen quite a bit. That I can't find the lid to things. But I thought they were pretty cool. Oh, wait, what does it say there at the bottom? Oh, they are microwave, freezer, and food safe. So you can use these in the microwave as well. And you can also store things in the freezer with them. Sorry, I had to pause you so I could cough that tickle out of there. All right, moving on, I did get mom another coffee cup. I am not sure the pea has broken anymore recently, but they can never have too many coffee cups. That is something that I do know, <laughs> but I loved it because it just has the easy peasy lemon squeezy saying on it. It's got the two little lemons there. I like this blue on this white. I think that is super pretty. It is on both sides there. And it is just says mug, so I'm not exactly sure how many ounces, but your regular coffee cup. And you guys know that P likes to throw these on the floor. Um, so it is always good to grab cute ones that I like. I think she'll like that. I say easy peasy lemon squeezy a lot. So I think she'll appreciate this one here because it's just something I say. So I like that. That's going to mom. I got to find room for everything. Oh, all right. Um, I don't know where to go right now. Oh, we're going to go over here. They had these antibacterial hand wipes. They, all of this stuff too, by the way, was in the $1.25 section. And I feel sometimes that I'm going to have to mention that because, um, of how much it's changing, right? So these are pomegranate. You get 50 wipes. They're five by seven. Uh, no parabens, no sulfates. It's with aloe and vitamin E. They, again, are by B Pure. And it has a car cup. It's car cup holder friendly. So these will fit into your cup holders in your car. Okay. That's fantastic in its own because sometimes you just need them. We're going to open this up because I want to see what pomegranate smells like in here. Um, oh, geez. There we go. They did, I know I took a picture, so they did have, I think, two flavors. My sister got the other one. Might have been berry. Ooh, oh, that smells yummy. All right. So, you know, you just pull that out. I'm just going to get this ready for use, guys. Pull that out. Pop one up. And then just pull it through your top here. Push your top back on, and then you're able to use them. And then it just shuts Look how cute, right? 50 of them, 
but do not flush them, okay? Contains plant-based fiber, FYI. They just smell phenomenal. I also got, don't fall, we got the Cascade Original Dishwasher Pods. I was losing it. There is six in this one. I know because I bought them. Sometimes you can find them in six and sometimes you can find them in 10, packs of 10. So this one is the six. I did look around. They did not have the packs of 10, but that's okay. So I got the packs of six. Dishwasher saves, dishwasher save water. So that's, you know, there you go. Uh, <laughs> so there is that. I also picked up, this is non-medicated vapor stick. This is what it looks like here. Come on, there we go. So it's a nice little vapor stick, no mess, soothing vapors, cools and soothes. It's a solid bomb. It's got a soothing scent. I can tell you, even from the outside of this package, you can smell the vapor rub or the vapor part of it, vapor part of it. The, I should say, what do we say? This is soothing scents and scent. The menthol, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. It does have that super strong menthol scent like vapor rub but this is what this looks like oh yeah it's strong oh i need to do that i need to clear out my sinuses anyway this is what it looks like it rolls up like a deodorant just like that you can bring it back down rubby rub under here wherever you may want to use it push the lid no nope, we twist the lid back on i think and that is that so I think this is a, I just broke my finger now, uh, a good alternative. I don't know how well it works just doing that. It did seem like it might work just as well as Vapor Rub, but we are going to try it out because I'm always congested. Again, I don't know if it's allergies. My son seems to be the same way anymore. Uh, we're going to try, right? It cannot hurt to try. The other things that I got are these cute little containers lidded plastic jar. This is what they look like. I thought these would be very cute to go into the bathroom. I did get two of them. The lids, there it is. Uh, thankfully they're plastic. The lids are taped on, that's it. But they would just come right off. I'm thinking cotton balls and Q-tips and things like that for the bathroom. And it's just something cute to keep them all in. I did get two of those. As you saw, sorry. And I just want to see, here we are. I got this set of three storage containers. It has removable lids for heating. Nope, let's try this again. Be remove lid <laughs> before microwaving. Top rack dishwasher safe. Okay, this is what they look like. You do get three of them. This color, they had multiple colors. This one, of course, being my fave. But that has two sections in them. They're by McCormick. The one section is 0.29 cups and the bigger section is 0.76. So this is what they look like. So it has, you. there we go. So you can see that. So anybody with vegetable and dip, we can do fruit in something to dip. You can do all kinds of things. You can also use these for crafting if you need to store things. I mean, you can use pretty much any Tupperware container for <laughs> storage, but I thought these were cute. I had to get them. Again, you get three of them. At first, my sister saw them like this, so she thought that they were butter containers, which would have been classic and good anyway, but I thought they were great. They did have them in multiple colors, but I just love this one. I like the whole summer vibe with the colors. Like they have that orangey, this blue, gray. I really like it. I know I showed it to you in a video and it's really just sticking. Like I really, really like it. And then, and then I also got these little, let's see what they say storage trays you get three whoop you get three in each set in this really cute purple pink and greenish blue here again oh my heavens again i mean a million and five things you can do with these so i have similar ones like these downstairs in the kitchen drawer that have the silverware in it um except for the ones i have downstairs have like holes in the side so i just kind of zip tie them together and they're in the drawer and that is what holds the silverware. So there's an idea too. Again, so many different things that you could possibly do with those. That, but they're pretty colors. 
super pretty. They also had this power strip, 13A, 125 volt. It has one cord here. We're just gonna pop it out. This is what the packaging looks like. I didn't expect it to come out that easy. But it does have a warning on the back. This is for indoor use in dry locations only. Device must be properly connected to a grounded receptacle, okay? But it's just a little mini power strip. I mean, come on. And it's pink. I love pink. I love purple, but I love pink too. It's pink. It's a little mini pink power strip. And they had them in blue and they had them in white. I'm pretty sure it was. And I don't even think I can get this back in here. But it's a little mini power strip. <laughs> Super excited over that. Anybody has one of these, let me know what you think about them. Got that. Also got this little mini fan here. And it just says mini fan requires two double A batteries. It does just have a little on and off switch here. This is where your batteries will go. It does have a little screw there that you'll have to undo. Now this will be great. I know somebody had actually mentioned this to sit here and blow on me while I'm in here because I still have yet to put the air conditioner in here. So I get super hot while I'm videoing, but this will be nice because I'm sure it can't be that loud and I just have it here just kind of blowing on me. So I got that little pink one. I also got deodorant from there. It is by Suave. They didn't have the one that I typically use, which is like the powder one, but it is Tropical Paradise. It's a 1.2 ounce bar of deodorant. It's just the next one that I found. They didn't have the one that I use, so, but we need it. So that's what we got. And I got some of the ramen. I got beef this time because my friend just mentioned that he hasn't had beef ones in a long time. We used to always get chicken and beef. The reason I stopped buying the beef ones is because I feel like the chicken ones were always the ones to go. But he said he actually likes mixing the beef ones and the chicken ones together, which I've never done. So I decided they sell the beef ones there as well as the chicken ones. So definitely decided to get the beef ones this time around. Oh, now. Oh, last thing. Sorry, I didn't see that over here. All I did was grab a little four thing of Scott tissue. Um, it is unscented bathroom tissue. You do get four rolls. There's 116 sheets per roll. They are one ply. It says dissolves 10 times faster and clog free. It is by Scott. I'm sure that they're probably on the, I mean, yeah. I, I don't know if anybody else does that when you get toilet paper. Do you do this to test it? <laughs> like to see how thin? I don't know. But it was just something I needed quickly. And so I just got it. And that is that is Comfort Plus. They do have like the nice little ridges on them. There we go. So I just grabbed that. I've never bought it from there before, but I mean, why not? Give it a try, right? But that is it. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you for bearing with me this week. I know. I should have gotten more, I shouldn't say I should have gotten, I wanted to get more videos out. It just wasn't happening this week. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I do apologize for that, but at least you got two. Um, and I'm going to try to focus on some crafting ideas. The summer is here. The fall is going to be here before you even know it, but we're going to work on it. And um, I think that's it. So I hope you have a fantastic Friday and even better weekend. And until next time, bye now.